This past week, Voyager rolled out a whole revised framework for their loyalty program, including new loyalty tiers and perks. Stay tuned for all the highlights of these enhancements and my overall thoughts on these changes. As always, before we get started, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Just do it! About three weeks ago, I made a video on my channel discussing the product roadmap Voyager has slated for the remainder of the year and beyond. In that video, I mentioned the targeted timeline of the end of May for the unveiling of a new and improved Voyager loyalty program. And almost right on cue, we got the announcement from the Voyager team at the end of May with all the details of these changes just a few short days later. The biggest change is to the structure of the tiers, which has been revised from three tiers of Explorer, Adventurer, and Navigator to six tiers. The first new Maverick tier gives an entry-level access to the loyalty program with a requirement of 100 VGX tokens held on the platform. Wait, what is VGX? VGX is the utility token for Voyager and driving force behind the loyalty program. At its current price, 100 VGX tokens would cost you a little less than $100. Make sense? Cool. This Maverick tier will remain pegged to an entry point of around $100. So for example, if the price of VGX rallies to $10, it would only require 10 VGX tokens to become a Maverick. The second new tier has been dubbed Pioneer. And with a 10,000 token requirement, it sits between the Explorer's 5,000 token requirement and the Navigator's 25,000 token requirement. Now this new tier made a lot of sense to me since it would be a big jump for many to go from staking 5,000 tokens to 25,000 for any extra benefits. Lastly, we have the new whale tier called Navigator Plus, with a 50,000 VGX token requirement. Aside from not being a fan of its overall name, I'll get into a bit more later about why I think it might not be worth jumping up to this top tier, even if you have the comfortable means to do so. Looking across the board at these six tiers, the core increasing benefits as you move up the tiers are focused on getting boosters to your annual yield on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDC, price improvement on the spread to give you crypto rewards back for trading, and crypto back on debit card purchases. You'll also earn 7% in annual yield on your VGX regardless of your tier. There are other added benefits for climbing tiers, such as access to exclusive NFT drops and events, and boosts for referring friends, but these are the things customers and potential customers care about the most in my opinion. I also think it makes the most sense to strive for either an adventurer, explorer, or navigator tier, as that is how you unlock one to 3% crypto back respectively on all your debit card purchases. At this time, acquiring an additional 5,000 VGX tokens to go from explorer to pioneer does not provide any additional crypto back with the debit card. And similarly, an additional 25,000 tokens to go from navigator to navigator plus. Some of the whales who hold 50,000 tokens were not happy to hear there would be no extra crypto back on debit card purchases for their top tier. In my opinion, that could change down the road, and for now, it's more important that Voyager keeps its rewards and benefit structure sustainable to avoid a crypto.com rug pull of benefits and avoid reputational damage for doing so. I now stake 5,000 VGX tokens and just recently unlocked the Explorer tier for the 2% crypto back with the debit card. And I need to consider whether or not it's personally worth purchasing an additional 20,000 tokens to become a navigator and earn that additional 1% back on all my purchases. I was just recently invited to participate in beta testing for the debit card and should hopefully have it in my mailbox one day this week. The beta testing for the card should be wrapped up by the end of June and rolled out to anyone on the waiting list or who requests one. You can reserve your debit card on the app if you haven't already. And if you don't have the app and would like to open an account, I put my promo code on the screen, which if you use when signing up from the app store, you'll receive $50 in free Bitcoin within 72 hours of making your first crypto trade of $100 on the platform. This new loyalty program should be going live in phases over the next several months, with the introduction of a token burn of 50,000 VGX tokens each month starting in June. This will remove VGX tokens from circulation every month to regulate its supply. Customers also have the desktop version of the app to look forward to, which will make managing your account and trading crypto with Voyager much easier. 
and it will be rolling out to a larger audience by the middle of June. Overall, I think this loyalty program and framework has introduced so many added benefits and incentives to use Voyager's products and services. If you're looking for a crypto rewards debit card and overall loyalty program, no other product on the market can compete with Voyager right now. It's not even close. It's important to remember that this is only the beginning and the program will evolve based on market conditions and the demands of the customer. Ultimately, I see this as a scalable foundation that can be built upon and look forward to seeing what added elements and benefits the Voyager team has in store. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Stay hungry and I'll catch you guys on the next video.